hello welcome in the new video with the another point till here we have learnt about farming as the main production activity in a palanthar the 75% people are busy engage in the farming activity that we have studied till here so we came to know the farming is the main economic activity done in the palanthar it was done by the 75% it means remaining 25% are busy in another activities that are non farming activities in a palanthar we shall now take a look at some of the non farm production activities in the palanthar the first activity is here we will see one by one all activities the first non farming activity dairy the other common activity there is a common activity in many fa families of palampur this activity is done commonly by the many families in the palampur about the dairy farming we will see here first there is major source of earning money in palampur along with farming the dairy production or the milk production is one main way or main source to earning money in the palampur there is a type of business where harvesting or processing of animal milk are done mostly from cow and buffaloes dairy means that is it is one kind of business what kind of business it is harvesting or processing of animal milk are done mostly from cow or buffaloes the cows and the buffaloes are used in the dairy farming people feed their buffaloes on various kinds of grass and the jowar and bajra that grows during the rainy season the grains are used as a food and the remaining part of the jowar bajra or other grass is used for feeding these animals the milk is sold in raiguns the nearby large village two traders from shahpur town for set up collection come chilling centers at raiguns from where the milk is transported to far away towns and cities the collection is taking place at the raiguns that is why the people from palampur those who are having milk production are sending selling their milk to these collection centers and after collecting this milk these people also sending the milk to the towns and cities in this way dairy farming is done in the palampur which helps them to earn money along with the agriculture now the second activity which is non farming based on the raw material which used from the farm but done separately that is a small scale manufacturing in small scale in a small scale manufacturing the jaggery making plant is used here as a example in the palampur how it is made through the pictures it is shown the processing of the jaggery jaggery means good small scale manufacturing small scale means very small investment not needing more capital in palampur small scale manufacturing is done in palampur this activity is also done basically the work is carried out at home the plant is worked and the process is working at the home or in the fields with the help of family labor so labor hired rarely the family members are busy to work in this plant at present less than 50 people are engaged in manufacturing in a palampur and like manufacturing that takes place in a big factories in the towns and cities manufacturing in palampur involves very simple production methods and are done on a small scale there are they are carried out mostly at home or in the fields with the help of family labor rarely the labors are hired so about the small scale manufacturing we have seen here the example is also given here in the pink box it is given you have to read it and understand Michelle's case Michelle has purchased a 
mechanical sugarcane crushing machine run on electricity and has set up on his field. This material case is a here given to understand the small scale manufacturing in the Palampur. Another activity now we will see here that is the shopkeeping. Shopkeeping activity is also non-farming activity. In this picture you are looking in this shop all kind of things are available. It is necessary to complete the needs of villages like these shops are occurs on the street of villages. Shopkeeping is also a source of earning money in the Palampur. Shopkeepers earn money by selling a wide range of items like rice, wheat, sugar, tea, oil, biscuits, soap, toothpaste, means all things are available here, batteries, candles, notebook, pen, pencil, even some cloth also for emergency. Here shopkeeper is an individual who runs the shop. Now the next point, transport, a fast developing sector in the Palampur. Vehicles on the Palampur road you are looking. Why these vehicles are used there? Roads also, this which is connecting this village to the other places. That is why the transportation is possible here in the Palampur. Transporting. People and goods are ferried. The people from this village and goods which is produced through the farming or from the other activities are ferried from one place to another through the transporting services. For this service, the workers get paid. In Palampur, roads in the mode of transportation are available. That is why the transportation is possible here. There are variety of vehicles on the road connecting Palampur to wagons, rickshawala, stangawala, jeep, tractor, truck, drivers and people driving the traditional bullock cart and bogies are people in the transport services. They ferry people and goods from one place to another and in return they get fed. The number of people involved in a transport has grown over the last several years. So it, with this we have studied the non-farming activities in the Palampur and it is helping to develop the economy of Palampur. In this lesson, many cases are given. That cases you have to study. That case studies are given to understand the concept with the examples. First, we will study the picture number 1.7. Dala and Ramkali are among the poorest native of the village. They are providing labor and what is the status? It is explained to the conversation on the page number 8. After that, you will complete the table on the page number 11. I also have helped you to complete it one to one video. You can refer that earlier video. Then after the Mishilal's case, to understand the manufacturing, Karim, it is also one another non farming economic activity. Karim has opened a computer class center in the village. Then Kichura is a farm laborer. On the page number 12, these are the stories are having. You have to read these stories and understand the Palampur. And with the example of Palampur, the economy of Indian villages, you will get idea. While studying this chapter, you came to know that the factors of production and after factors of production, which things are important to develop the villages. I hope you understand the complete chapter. Read it again and understand.